Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today, I think I got something kind of exciting because I'm going to show you some waveform generators, some ARBs, arbitrary waveform generators. Uh, you know, back in the day, we called them function generators, right? Uh, they create your sine wave. That's a, that, those, now, if it only creates a sine wave, we just call those signal generators. But then you also have your function generators, which gives you the sine, square, triangle, which means triangle usually means you get a ramp generator in there too. And then with square, you usually get a pulse generator. So those are your functions that you'd get in a generator. So you have your signal generators, you have your function generators, and today, for the digital stuff, we have arbitrary waveform generators, which means, essentially that means we get a really cool function generator. We get the function generators, all those functions, but then we also get a bunch of other waveforms that you can arbitrarily design, you know? So, arb generators. We got three here. They're all varying prices. This one up here is something we've seen before. This guy, a bit more expensive, and this one, yeah, more expensive. Now, I've got another one. I don't know if you can see it. Right up here, can you see this guy up here? Reach on the other side of my box here. That guy is another Unity generator that they gave me that one. Now, this one, I think I get to keep, the little one, but these two I have to return, and I have to return pretty soon. That's why I'm doing uh this video now i've had them for a little while but i've had some things going on and so i just haven't been able to get to all the videos i wanted to get to they also gave me a couple of power supplies and i need to review them because i think i have to send both of those back too so i need to yeah the guy's gonna go to another show so these aren't brand spanking new so the boxes will look a little more beat up they've been to shows and so on things like that but yeah, anyway, boxes might not be perfect, but the unit should be. <laughs> All right, guys, let's open them up, okay? I'm gonna start with the little guy, of course. All right, guys, so yeah, uh oh, let's open them. Now, I've opened these boxes just to see, make sure everything is okay. Now, this guy, like I said, here, let's get rid of this box. Here we go. This guy here, it says Function Arbitrary Waveform Generator, the UTG962E. Yikes, I'm throwing it. Um, this guy, you might have noticed before, he's right here. Now here's a crazy thing. I was getting these generators, right? And I was doing a whole bunch of testing and I somehow, I killed this guy, I guess. He still looks like he works, but he puts out no signal. And I don't hear the relay clicking on, so something happened inside. So we'll do, we'll repair this one in another video, okay? He looks like he's working, does everything, just no signal. So they're nice enough to send me out this one. Now, I was doing a whole bunch of weird tests, and I I don't know if I backfed some voltage into this. I might I don't know what I did, but... I did something, so we'll figure that out, okay? I've used it a lot, I've done a lot of things with it, and um, I had a bunch of things going on at one time, you know, getting a little careless, and also doing videos, so it's always hard to make sure my microphone has battery, does it? And to make sure the camera looks like it's working, the lights are working, yeah, there's all kinds of things to think about, and so, um, sometimes I've noticed that I've, you know, gotten a little bit careless and yeah, I was in the middle of doing several videos all at one time. And then I went to turn that guy back on and no signal. I was like, Oh, what'd I do? I was doing so many things. I'm not even sure what I did. Anyway, <laughs> uh, that's what this guy is. Okay. So, uh, I'll show you the, you know, I'm going to bring the camera over and show you uh what's inside what you know just so you can see what the box looks like when you get it okay so let's see what this next guy is now i can read it it's a utg 4082 now this guy first of all 
Let me point back to this one if you can see it. Yeah, it's in camera. See that guy right there? That guy right there is a UTG 1042X. Fairly new model, okay? It's a really nice generator. Let me tell you what uh, one thing that most of these generators have in common. Well, they all have something in common. They all have at least two channels. So that was another thing back in the day. Signal generators, usually one channel. Function generators, usually one channel. Then these ARVs came out. You started getting two channels or more. This guy down here, four channels. The rest of these guys, that guy, and the rest of these, they all have two channels, okay? So two channels are awesome because there's it's just cool, right? You can do different things. We'll, we'll talk about that as time goes on. But anyway, that one, as far as pricing comes in, this little guy is definitely going to be the most affordable, okay? That dude is about 2x the price. And this one's a 60 megahertz version, by the way. There's a 30 megahertz version, which is even more affordable. That guy is only 40 meg, but yet it's twice as much. So we'll talk about why that is, okay? Then this guy, I think he's roughly twice as much as that guy. Then this guy, it's probably three or four times more expensive than this one. So the price is getting pretty high, okay? Here, let's see what, yep, you know what? Now, like I said, the boxes have been already open on a bunch of these. Now, these are boxes is within boxes, okay? Same, you know, in all cases, it's a box within a box. So they're always shipped very well. So you know what? Let me. I'm going to bring my camera over, and we're going to look inside the box, pull them out so you can see what they look like, okay? All right, guys. So this is what it looks like in the box. Okay, and let's look inside this. So, yeah, nice little presentation, right? Um, now, this guy here, when it comes out, you don't see anything, right? Because everything, all the magic's underneath this, okay? So, yeah, it's uh, somehow organized at the bottom of that lid, and then you got to be very careful because it's hard to get it all back in. All right, so there's the power cord. It's USB. And here's our USB adapter, okay? So we'll have to slide in the one here for the US into this thing. All right, slides in that way. So there we go. Then you just push this if you wanted to change it out. And there's the little USB guy. So that's the power. And then you also get one for some other country. <laughs> uh, Okay, so we get a BNC to alligator, that's nice. And then a BNC to BNC. And then the little, this little download operations guy just tells you how to get your manual. And so I, I kind of like that. Some people like hard manuals, sometimes I do, but you know, I, I save a tree, right? All right, guys, since it's on the bench, let's go for the big one. The box is kind of beat up. I was kind of warned of that. Here's the power cord. I gotta ship this back, so I gotta be careful not to damage it any further, the box packaging. Okay, there we go. That was stuck on there pretty good. This is like that. I think it's polypropylene foam. It's pretty dense foam. And they layer it together. It's pretty cool how they build those. All right, guys, so there it is. Doesn't that look like an oscilloscope? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's stuck in that foam pretty well. So let me take the bag off. And there we go. Man, it is heavy. It's heavier than a scope. At least I think it is. Man, it feels heavy. I'm surprised how heavy it is. So yeah, look, that's pretty cool, the button layout, huh? God, that makes it easy. Uh, four channels. That's a push knob. These are all like silicon kind of fill. And same with the power. Let's look at the back. Wow. All right, so we have a hard power switch. So that's nice. You can totally disconnect it from your AC power. So surges, things like that won't get through. Uh, look at that, your LAN connection. USB modulation in, 
FSK trigger. Wow. Okay. That's that frequency. Uh, what is it called? Keen. It's like it puts out the, the FSK signal. It's like high frequencies, low frequencies, high frequencies, low frequencies. High frequencies mean a one, low frequencies mean a zero. So frequency, forget what the S means, but it's keen, like key. So, and it says trigger. So counter. Uh, that's an output. I'm well, that's probably the input, I guess. 10 megahertz output that's your 10 meg clock, or you can 10 meg in. Okay, so that's uh kind of common on you know higher end equipment. Okay, now we got some nice feet that snap in pretty rigidly. These rubber things are not coming off, so that's nice. Sometimes I know some feet the rubber things come off easy, and then on the uh-oh, falling in the box. Then on this end, it's just some little rubber pieces here. Just anti-skid, I guess. But, yep, and then our handle snaps in. Man, this thing, did I say this was heavy? I'll bet you this is 10, 15 pounds. This is surprisingly heavy. All right, let's look at the other uh, generator. Well, I'm going to look in the box. And then we'll look at the other generator. All right, I just found this, uh, and this will tie for the power cord. That's where he was hiding underneath. Now, there's no other cable, so we just got the power cord with this one. All right, let's open up this one. Now, that other box, you notice, it was not was not a box in a box, which Unity always ships that way. So, uh, now here's the straps that came off of one of these boxes. I think it was this box. So this one's probably a new one. I probably opened it up to, well, that's, yeah, so that could be a new one. Uh, it's the only one that came with the certificate of calibration. So that's a good sign. So maybe it is a new one. Okay, power cord. Doesn't look like it's been unraveled. Okay, we got the uh, a BNC to BNC, two of them. Okay, and also a USB. So, this one looks like it's complete. We also got this guy, which always comes with the new one. So yeah, same, we've seen that before. Okay, so anyway, polypropylene blocks on the side. This guy's held in between. He's a much lighter object. Look, there's another one of those pads that was at the bottom of the other box. Okay. All right, guys. All right, guys, so this, that's what this one looks like. Uh, 4082, let me pull it out of the plastic. All right, so she's out of the plastic. Uh, wow, similar kind of button thing. I guess because it's big enough, we got all these buttons. They just said, well, let's just assign them. Sign, square, ramp, pulse, DC, harmonic, arb, and noise. So pretty cool. And this one being brand new, it still has the, the thing on the screen, I'm gonna leave it on, guys, because since I gotta send it back, we'll send it back looking new. It's got the rubber feet, same kind of feet as the other one, as a big one. Okay, just a little bit smaller version. I think this is an eight inch screen, the other one was 10 inch screen. So yeah, just another scope case, I'm sure. Uh, same kind of buttons, 10 meg in, 10 meg out, counter, FSK trigger, modulation in. Yeah, same thing, USB and, and there's your ethernet port and our power switch again. So uh, there we go. Same handle, okay. And they have these little, you know, the fan ports on the sides. So it makes it easy to hold the thing on the sides. I, I kind of like that too. So there we go, let's get a closer look. Okay, guys, that's what it looks like on the bench. The little one, medium-sized boy, and the big, heavy, girthy guy. So, pretty cool. Here, let me show you my other one. All right, guys, and that is a 1042 right there. All right, guys, so I hope you like this just box opening. Um, Kind of showed you a little bit of what the scopes look like. We're going to use the Unity scope to look at some waveforms in the next video. Where 
I, I broke it up so that it's just not one long video. Hope you like that. Some people may not want to watch the box opening. They may just want to watch the next one. If you watch this one, links to the next one will come as soon as I'm ready to post it. <laughs> so maybe initially it won't be there, but it will be after. So I'm going to post it right after as well. I got to send these two guys back. So thank you, Unity, for sending them out. And guys, I hope you're going to be interested in watching the next one. This might give you an idea, you know, that generator up there with these three, it's kind of a, a tasting of the different generators they have. This isn't the best one they have. And, you know, there is one a little bit lower model than this one as well. So they have a broad spectrum of generators. Like each one of these, there's a family of generators. So just like their oscilloscopes, they have a huge offering of oscilloscopes, big offering of uh, multimeters, right? Handheld multimeters and clamps and stuff like that. I have two high-end meters, which I was looking to see if I had one handy, which I'm going to review those, okay? Um, yeah, just a lot of nice equipment from Unity, power supplies as well. I've got this one, and I've got... Um, and I've got this guy back here. And I've got a couple more in boxes over here, which I have to return those. So I'm going to do another review right after I do this one on these power supplies to kind of show you all the different power supplies they have and the different levels. Um, really cool stuff. Uh, linear power supplies I have. They also have switchers. So, all right, guys. Hope you like this. I'm going to stop. I'm just going on and on. Uh, two big thumbs up to Unity for sending these out and for supporting the channel. Um, I, you know, they don't pay me for anything. They do. They have provided this for free. And this one, uh, these two I have to return. They gave me that one. So they do provide equipment for free as well as other companies. But no one pays me and no one tells me what to say or anything like that. And uh, yeah, they're really great. You know, they just send them out to me and they know they have good stuff and they're not concerned. <laughs> and it's not just me. You guys have seen other reviewers uh, show their stuff as well. So yeah, they just don't care. They just send it out. And, you know, I think they know that a lot of you guys out there are interested in building labs. And so they want people to see what's, you know, what the options are, right? Not just the lower cost units. Ah, it'd be really neat to have one of these in a lab, but that's just too expensive for me. But it'd be nice to be able to uh, test all the oscilloscopes, the bandwidth and everything with something like that. But man, yeah, there's so many functions on that. It would it would be a party to, <laughs> to I mean, it'd take a lot of videos to go through all the different things you can do with something like this one or like this one. But, oh, and like the video. That's a free way to support the channel. Using the links, free way to support the channel, all that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.